Thousands of protesters are gathering in Thailand's capital, Bangkok, for the fourth day despite the shutdown of major roads and public transport. Police closed intersections and metro stations in the capital but failed to stop large crowds showing up. It comes after police used water cannon to disperse anti-government demonstrators who've been rallying since Wednesday. Rights groups say that at least 51 people were arrested this week. The protesters are demanding new elections and reform to the monarchy. So well, the protesters are particularly calling for the abolition, the abolition rather, of a strict law that punishes any comment perceived as defaming the king in an unprecedented challenge to the monarchy. For his part, the king has said the country needs people who love the monarchy in a pre-recorded speech broadcast on Friday. Thailand needs people who love the country, people who love the institution of the monarchy. And whatever experience you have or what you have done in the past, please use to the country's benefit. Live now to Bangkok, Al Jazeera's uh, Tony Cheng is there for us. So, Tony, people are coming out to protest despite this lockdown there in the capital. Yes, we've seen an interesting game of cat and mouse today with the protesters announcing this morning that there would be more protests to say today, but not specifying where. Uh, the uh, police, in turn, have tried to lock down the center of Bangkok, and in characteristic style, the protesters have started moving their three different protest sites outside Bangkok, or just on the edge of the suburbs, I should say. Uh, they came uh, about it two hours ago in very large numbers. We're at one of those sites, Lad Prao, in the north of Bangkok. Uh, there are still lots of students around. What is interesting, however, is uh, unlike the previous protests we've seen over the last three days and over the last two months, because they have no focal point and because a lot of their leaders have been taken into custody, uh, there are lots of separate speakers, people just holding up megaphones, speaking to smaller crowds. It doesn't have that unifying feel that we've seen so far. That said, there are those universal chants. They want the prime minister to get out. They want, they've been talking about their taxes, referring to the reform of the monarchy, and particularly talking about the release of their friends. And, and that is one of their key demands that those protesters who've been released uh, are released immediately and uh, the investigation of those who've disappeared in the last couple of years takes right. place in a full and transparent manner. So these protesters have defied the, the law on, uh, on uh, gatherings of, uh, of more than five people or six people. Uh, what's been the reaction from the police? Well, earlier in the day, the police made very clear warnings to the protesters, saying that under the new emergency, special emergency laws, uh, the, the gathering of the five people was illegal, and they said that anyone found to be breaking those laws would be arrested. However, uh, they don't seem to have been fast enough so far to catch up with the protesters. Uh, there are a few police around directing the traffic. Uh, we are here at a major intersection, so. Uh, the fact that there are thousands of students outside in the middle of the road has caused uh, some fairly significant traffic problems. But in terms of the water cannon and the riot police we saw yesterday, no sign yet. However, I think the protesters are aware that they're not going to push their luck. Uh, they've said uh, that they will break these protests up at 8 p.m. That's in about an hour and a half's time. Uh, and I think at this stage, the police may be happy just to let them disperse peacefully. Tony, many thanks. Tony Cheng reporting live from Bangkok.